Storm Tracker Team Forecast with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, today has been just a nice summer day overall. We've had clear skies out there, sun shining. Yes, there's a little bit on the warmer side, lower 90s, but notice the dew point reading currently lower 50. So we've been really enjoying some dry air, lower humidity out there, which really isn't making it feel all that bad. And we can really see that well on water vapor imagery. You can see it's oranges, the yellows kind of filter in across the Gulf states behind that front that moved through about a day or so ago. And so we're really enjoying that dry air with dew points in that kind of fair category for the next couple days. And and then as you go toward the back half of the week, you'll notice those begin to rise into that kind of sticky and swampy category as humidity will, all, will also be on the rise as well. But tonight, going into your day on Tuesday morning, really nice overall still with lows into the about the lower to mid 60s out there. Really pleasant conditions as you begin your next work day tomorrow. And then in the afternoon, very similar to what we saw today with highs into the lower 90s. Again, plenty of sunshine as well. And we'll also be seeing some light winds too, which won't help with some light smoke out there and some ozone near the surface, which has prompted an air quality alert in effect for tomorrow between 6 a.m. to about midnight for EBR Parish and then surrounding parishes as well. So if you are those with respiratory issues, you may want to limit some of your outdoor time tomorrow, especially in the afternoon hours of the afternoon, those peak heating hours of the day. Now looking at rainfall chances the next couple days, really not much to talk about. We see mostly clear skies overall, a few clouds overall too, maybe a couple of showers possible. Can't rule it out, but again, that would be on the generous side of things. Really not looking at any beneficial rainfall over the next couple days as you go forward with time, even to, toward about midweek. Highs will still be in the lower 90s. Only about a 10% chance of rain. That's really only counting for the chance for a few coastal showers, maybe a few making them more way inland. Again, it can't rule it out, but no real beneficial rain over the next five to six days. And so, of course, that does not help our drought conditions. It's still in that extreme to exceptional drought, which also elevates our fire risk a little bit, especially the next couple days when we have these low over humidities out there. Now on the topics, so looking at Hurricane Nigel, that's going to be recurving out to sea, no threat to land. Another tropical wave moving off the coast of Africa, that's a high chance of development. So that'll be something to watch over the next week or so. And then maybe possibly a non-tropical low forming off the coast of the southern U.S. right about here. Again, that could bring some impacts to the eastern seaboard. But over the next seven days here in the Gulf of Mexico, no tropical threats whatsoever for us here in Louisiana. And then your seven-day forecast, looking rather nice overall next couple days, lower 90s, mostly sunny skies. Again, a chance for a few showers possible, but as you go to about the weekend to about early next week, looks like maybe another front moving into their area to help maybe increase our rain chances a little more slightly by the early next week time frame, but morning still near 7 degrees or